This is Mr. Martin. Uh, this is uh, video notes for math analysis, section 9.6. This is uh, video 2 of 2. So uh, starting off with example 4 here, we want to convert the polar equations to rectangular form. So keep in mind that when you're converting your equations between forms, um, you're going to have to be a little bit creative at times. Uh, and there's a few basic techniques that as you do a bunch of these problems, you'll kind of uh, get the hang of them and internalize those different techniques. But if you don't practice these enough, um, you're going to get to a quiz or a test and you're going to look at the problems and you're going to have no idea what to do and be totally stuck. So I just want to caution you to make sure that you're working on the homework and that you do enough of the problems to make sure that you uh, have a really good handle on how to do these. So um, we want to describe the graph of each polar equation and find the corresponding rectangular equation. And we may not necessarily do that uh, in that order. Um, so for part A, let's first convert this. And uh, again, we're going to use our uh, the things that we used in the other examples. So um, I know that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So what we want to do here is I want to square both sides. So I get r squared is equal to 9. And then I can take out the r squared and I can put in x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. So I can see that I have a circle with a radius of 3. So I would go out to the third circle here and I would pick every point that's three units away, our directed distance of three, three units away from the pole. All right, so moving on to uh, the next part, I've got uh, pi over four, theta is equal to pi over four. So the tangent of theta, the tangent at pi over four is root two over two. And I know that tangent of theta is also y over x. So y over x is equal to root 2 over 2. So if I cross multiply um, and solve this for y, I'm going to get y is equal to root 2 over 2x. So you can see we've got a line here. This is a line. And its uh, slope is going to be uh, root 2 over 2. So some sort of a line in here like so. All right, for the next example, um, we've got r is equal to cosecant theta. So let's see what happens if I change this to 1 over sine theta. And then if I cross multiply, I get r sine theta is equal to 1. And I know that this is equal to y. So y is equal to 1. So I've got a horizontal line at y equals 1. So um, here's one of our techniques where we convert it to its reciprocal function. And then we end up with uh, one, of, one of the things that we can use to convert it. Over here, that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by r. So on the right, I end up with r squared. And on the left, I'm left with negative 2r sine theta. Okay, and then I can replace this, and I can replace this. So r squared is x squared plus y squared. Over here, I have negative 2 times y, because r sine theta is y. And then if I move everything over to one side, I have x squared plus y squared plus 2y is equal to 0. And then if I complete the square with my y's, I get x squared plus y squared plus 2y plus half of that squared is equal to, and then I have to add 1 squared on that side. So I get x squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 1. So again, I have a circle with radius 1 and center 0, negative 1. So let's just make a little sketch. Center's at uh, 0, negative 1. Radius of 1, we'll have a little circle right in there. 
All right, so there's our equation, and there's our little graph. All right, so um, that takes care of uh, the remainder of this video. Um, in your packet, you should have your uh, exit slip. So if you want to go ahead and uh, see what you can do on those, and um, you can either go on my website and uh, take a look at those solutions or uh, check the back of the room. They should be posted up there. And uh, again, if you have any questions, make sure you write those down and ask me. We'll see you next time.